Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Leo, I want to let you guys know that you guys can now book on our online store for consultations, whether it's the 30-minute telephone consultation or the video live reading. You guys can now go to our online store and book. Um, I wanted to make it easier for you guys as well as Cut the going in circles. Um, it just keeps it more proactive. Now, quick reminder, we are scheduling now for December and January. Availability is limited. So if you wait last minute, don't be surprised if you go to our online store and you can no longer book. Um, it's almost felt like this whole year we've been completely booked. Um, but anyways, I am making that more accessible to you guys. So you guys can now do that online on our store. Like I said, um, the moment we get notification, you guys will get a personal message from me uh, to schedule the appointment and date. So just letting you guys know, let's get into your reading, Leo. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are excited. I am. Uh, we are in the holiday season, right? The best time of the year. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. Please step forward, allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2021. What is it that they need to know at this present time? What is it that they need to know at this present time, Spirit Guides, Ancestors? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for them for this month of November 2021? Okay, so we're starting off here with the Four of Swords. A lot of contemplating, Leo, a lot of analyzing. This is internalizing. Um, for some of you guys, it could have been a new routine that you've gotten into. For some of you guys doing yoga or meditation, something that you're starting to incorporate for the month of November. For, for others, I'm hearing visualization. So um, if you've been on this journey of trying to manifest or trying to um, bring towards you certain goals or aspirations that you're trying to make happen what they're telling you is use the power of visualization and visualization goes hand in hand with meditation so pay attention to that message if you guys have been trying to manifest now your next card here is the nine of wands the queen of pentacles here maybe dealing with earth energy capricorn taurus virgo your next card here is the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Wow, heavy energy. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm getting multiple uh, messages. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation at work where you're extremely exhausted or you're to the point of um, kind of like saying, fuck it, I'm done with this or I'm no longer going to be dealing with this nonsense. I feel that there may be some type of lack of like lack of stability. I feel like because right at the center, we have the Queen of Pentacles, right? And the Queen of Pentacles is all to do with being grounded. It's all to do with regulations, with authority. It's all to do with um, dealing with the person that brings a lot of structure into what they're doing to be able to get or receive the ending results or the manifestation of the ending result. And it's right at the center. And then on the sides, what we have is the four of swords, people slacking, not really picking up or doing what they're supposed to be doing. Nine of wands, you're exhausted. You're tired at this point. For some of you guys, you're taking on the energy of the queen of pentacles. You're tired. You're upset. Um, it's almost like I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is having to do directly with either your profession or your career or the place of your business. It's like there is this feeling of why do I have to mother everyone or why do I have to be the one to lay down the law or why am I the one that's having to pick up other people's slack with the 10 of swords, though, I feel that there is a, a cycle or a cycle that is coming to a completion a completion of struggle and strife uh, with the Eight of Swords here, feeling stuck, feeling overburdened. I feel that for a lot of you guys, and I'm going to um, 
I'm, I'm going to try to communicate this as, as easiest as I possibly can. If you're dealing with a situation at work where it almost feels or it seems like the people that are in that are supposed to be in authority, whether it's management, whether it's leads, whether it's supervisors, I feel that this person has a tendency of dealing with people that like to kiss their ass. Um, and I feel like you're too prideful for this type of behavior, uh, which kind of makes you a lone wolf, Leo. And I see people really like looking at you with some type of anger because everything you do, it almost seems like you do it very effortlessly. It almost seems like, you know, why is Leo capable of doing this or meeting deadlines? Or it's like, you know, you're not even trying. That's how they see it. Like everything comes so easily to your or you do your work very effortlessly. What they're not seeing is the responsibility, right? The responsibility the difficulty, uh, the importance of what it is to you to be able to do your job and do it right. Ten of Swords is coming to an ending, an ending cycle with the Eight of Swords. There's an ending cycle that is unfolding for you where you're no longer going to be feeling this type of restriction or this type of stress. Um, for some of you guys, it's elevating yourself. It is getting the position of the person that is above you. Uh, it is other people getting or seeing that you're more capable than someone that is around you. And it's making them really uncomfortable being around you. And again, I feel like envy is surrounding you in your career or in your profession. But with the Queen of Pentacles, what they're telling you here is you need to take on this energy. And this energy is that of, like I said, authority. It's that of being grounded. It's that of you know, putting your nose to the grindstone and not being distracted by petty shit or by people. Let them say whatever they want to say. You keep doing what you've been doing, um, Leo, because there is an ending cycle here of struggle. There is an ending cycle of people even feeling like you're being taken for granted or not being appreciated. For some of you guys, it's on an unexpected position that's coming to you or that will be given to you. Why? Because the person that is supposed to be uh, this person of authority is really dropping the ball or they're going to get themselves to a point of being fired. So for some of you guys, don't be surprised if you go into work and you find out that your supervisor, your um, your boss, your lead, your manager, whatever, got pretty much sacked, they fired them, or they lost their job. Um, and again, I feel like that role or that responsibility is going to fall to you only because they see you as a very hard worker. My advice to you, Leo, is really take this opportunity. Uh, don't let it, you know, um, don't let it pass you by, whether it's for, whether it's like, uh, what's, what's the word I'm hearing? Um, a major difference in your pay. I feel that you're only going to be doing this for temporary, meaning um, as an example, they tell you, well, we can't really offer you that much. We'll only offer you a specific amount. I feel that after you do that trial basis thing, they're definitely going to be giving you what you deserve. So take this as an opportunity to deal. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.